All right, hello everyone. I'm coming at you today with a super quick and easy lower body and core workout that you can do at home, minimal exercise equipment needed. First exercise we have is our Bulgarian split squats. These are really good for strengthening your quads and they also challenge your balance, which is really cool. We have six reps each side here. So you're gonna be doing six with your right foot up on the bench and then six with your left foot up on the bench. Make sure you're standing nice and tall at the top here. So think about rolling your shoulders away from your earlobes. Squeezing your glutes at the top, lowering down into that squat. Try to go as low down as you can. Your option there, if you have to, you can limit the range of motion. Again, depends on what you can do. I'm also using a dumbbell here as well. That's totally optional, depending on what you have. And next we have our bench tap squat for 10 total reps. Anytime you lower into a squat here, you really want to think about sticking your butt back. And also a little tip, think about keeping your knees tracking over your heels. You're going to place a lot of unwanted strain on your knees if they're tracking too far over your toes. So again, always thinking about sitting it back. Notice as well how I'm squeezing my glutes at the top. It's going to ensure that you're getting the most out of the exercise here. And next, this move is a little bit challenging. We have our single leg sit to stand. Again, we're gonna be doing six reps each side. So a tip that I like to use to help me kind of maintain my sense of balance is staring at a particular spot on the wall or the floor. I don't know why, but it helps me. So you wanna think about keeping your core engaged here as you stand up and then lower back down. Again, it is challenging. You may also notice that one side is a little bit better at balancing. That's totally fine. These single-sided movements are made to counteract those imbalances. And if you need an option here, you can just bring that foot that's extended out, bring that heel down to the floor throughout the movement. And next on deck, we're gonna go ahead and grab our bands. We have that mid-band position here. So you wanna put it right below your knee. You can also think of it as the widest part of your calf. So basically you wanna bring it into that jump squat, lower it back down, really focus on building that power on the way up and then landing softly on your feet on the way down. Again, always keeping the knees tracking over the heels here. Nice and controlled throughout. There I am feeling winded already. Now we're gonna bring it into a little bit of core work here. Seated knee tucks. You wanna think about engaging your core. I know that can get lost in translation sometimes, but a little tip that I like to give is if you think about somebody getting ready to punch you in the stomach. So drawing your belly button in towards your spine, nice and controlled here. Remember to breathe throughout that movement as well. And then we finish it off, last but not least, with our incline plank shoulder tap. So really focusing on minimizing that rotation of your hips here. So. A little bit of a wider foot stance is totally fine. And there you have it, my friends. That is my super simple at-home lower body and core workout that you can do with minimal equipment. All you really need for this is a chair, a bench, or a little stool like what I'm using for all of my exercises. You wanna complete four rounds of these exercises. Me, personally, I like to pair this with either going for a run or maybe doing a 20-minute cycling ride, walking, whatever it might be, something to kind of bring my heart rate up and then I'll follow it up with this. So it's totally up to you. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys try this out. I really hope that you enjoy and I hope that you have the best day, week, month, year ever. And that is all I've got for you today, guys. Adios.